So here is some amazing news about AMD's upcoming GPU, the RX 9070XT. They just did something amazing that nobody expected and they defied every and all kinds of expectations that anyone had. Because the size of their GPU, the actual die, is bigger than the RTX 4080 in size. Despite having not like a huge number of compute units, it is a refined architecture with better RT and everything. And the actual physical size of that GPU, the die, it is slightly larger than the 8103 found inside RTX 4080. Which means that assuming that if the architecture is just as good or just as efficient, we can expect very close performance to the 4080. This is not a mistake, this is intentional. And this is like what we've been seeing in recent leaks like 4080 or like 4080 Super or very close to the XTX in terms of like rasterization and uh, synthetic benchmarks which are not always accurate but this proves it, this confirms it and even in ray tracing it is going to be right around the same as a 4070 Ti Super which is insane at $500 which is going to be the price I can bet everything that this is going to be the right price for this card. And if you compare the 9070XT to the 7900GRE, which it is supposed to be replacing at a cheaper price hopefully, this card has 50% um, higher clock speed. That is an insane gain in a single generation at the same price point. So up from 2.25GHz all the way up to 31 this could be overclocked to 3.3 by some AIBs, like their OC additions. This is going to be the fastest running GPU in terms of clock speed that you can get out of the box, which is insane. And this huge increase kind of puts it above the GRE in terms of performance, like a lot better than that, even though it has a thousand fewer cores. So the core count here doesn't really matter because the architecture is better. It is a smaller GPU, which means that it is easier to produce, it is going to be cheaper. Like that is a win-win if they can make a, a cheaper, a smaller GPU that can perform this well, like very close to an XTX in rasterization, or better than a 4080 in some scenarios and like a 4070 Ti Super in ray tracing for the right price of like $500, which is where I want it to be. This is the ultimate graphics card and everything is looking amazing.